our world. Six continents. 195 countries. 10,000 religions. 250,000 cities. 6.8 billion people. And one economic problem. In this series, we're going to find out more about it and why we have it and what we do to fuel it and different ways to deal with it. We'll be interrogating you, your family and your friends, workers, business people, corporate giants, foreign nationals, multinationals, a few murky figures from history and even governments. All with the same economic problem. What do we want? What do we need? And how are we going to get it? Much like these ants, we live in a world where we work together and compete with one another for the resources we need to build and sustain our lives. We enjoy good fortune and bad, wars, natural disasters, as we try to live and support our families. Now understanding this basic idea that there are limited resources for which we're all competing to make a life is the first step to understanding how our economy works. This is Lyndon, Evie and Kate. Every day, like most of us, they have to make choices about how to utilise the resources they have at their disposal to live as best they can. Each of them, consciously and unconsciously, is constantly having to make economic decisions about what to buy, what to consume and, importantly, what to resist buying. These decisions are necessary because their resources are scarce, but their needs and wants are practically unlimited. And in the most basic sense, this is what economics is all about. Like us, every day they have to confront the fundamental economic problems of scarcity, choice and something called opportunity cost. Understanding these concepts is fundamental to the economic way of thinking. More than ever before in history, the human race is having to confront this age-old economic problem. Resources are scarce, but our wants are unlimited. To illustrate just how pressing the economic problem is, now more than ever before, let's look at our history on this planet. Mankind has existed for around 100,000 years, and it took this long, up until the year 1900, for the human population to grow to 2 billion. But then, in the next 100 years, the world's population tripled to 6 billion. In fact, estimates suggest that the world's population will reach 10 billion within the next 50 years. Now, 10 billion people, each with a constantly evolving list of wants and needs. Well, you do the maths, but to me, that's pretty much unlimited. 